Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Profound Cloud. Hello, this is Michael from Profound Cloud. Google Forms are a great tool for turning all sorts of tasks that you used to do on paper into digital form. One great example would be a timesheet. So here I have a company timesheet where you submit your hours and the results go into this spreadsheet here. However, one problem with forms comes when you need to use formulas in conjunction with the submission. For example, the column I have here to calculate the total number of hours worked in a week. Let me show you what the issue is. When the next person goes to fill out this form, they're going to place in their hours, hit submit, and as expected, the row appears here in the sheet. However, the problem is over in this cell. You can see that the sum formula that I've used in the other cells does not carry down into the row that was just submitted. And the reason why is because when uh, you submit a form through Google Forms, what you're actually doing is inserting a row in the spreadsheet. You notice anytime you insert a row in the spreadsheet, it doesn't carry over the formula that was above it. So what you end up having to do is constantly go in and copy and paste the formula into the new row. So I'm going to show you a way to avoid that. What we're going to do is we're going to create a second spreadsheet, and we'll call it totals. And we're going to use the query function. And the query function is going to pull the data in from the other spreadsheet. Okay, so I start with equals query, and I'm going to go back to my responses spreadsheet and highlight these rows. Okay, that's what the formula looks like. I'm going to hit enter. And now you'll see I essentially have a duplicate of the data on the other spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to add my totals column here. I want the sum of these rows. And I have something that looks really similar now to my other spreadsheet. However, there's one key difference. If I go back to submit the data again, you'll see now that because we use the query function, there's actually no row being inserted on this spreadsheet because Google is actually continuing the data down in the next cells. You don't really have to understand why this works, but to know that it works is a really great thing because now I can always look at this spreadsheet and as you'll see, my formula carried over. So I can then go ahead and just fill this down and know that as uh, more employees fill out their timesheet, um, these will be automatically calculated. So there you have a quick tip on Google Forms and how to use formulas in your spreadsheet results.